hey, you know that guy. That guy with a sick, sick defense. They just can't seem to die no matter how their opponents attack. Andrew Sechiman needs to uh, respond to a challenge by uh, Lee Yong Dae if they're to succeed in this match. Yeah, I'm not that guy. You know, to be really to be really honest with you guys, I'm actually a singles player and I specialize in attack. So my defense, not to mention doubles defense, it's not the best. But I'll try my best to teach you what I know. And there's so many things you can cover. You can cover about how do you do the technique, the use case scenario, when it's the best time to drive and how do you want to drive in certain situations. Uh, things to look out for, common mistakes, common weak spots since I'm the attacker I know where to attack right so I'm gonna share all of these with you guys uh, and a couple in a small video series because I don't think I can cover everything in this video so if you want to learn how to do doubles defense stay tuned so for the backhand defense there's three primary techniques of course there are variations of these techniques but here are the three basic techniques that you gotta know the first is the lift or the clear so when people smash you hit it up high so it's gonna look something like this and the second is of course the drive shot so this is a counter attack attacking shot where you try to drive the shuttle flat across the net so it looks something like this and the last is the block or the soft touch or the control or basically the idea is that you want to hit the shuttle just over the net softly so typically you hit it you have to control the shuttle just across the net and it looks something like this so among the three primary techniques which do i recommend starting out with definitely it is definitely going to be the drive shot why because it requires the least amount of control compared to the block as well as the lift when you mess up a drive shot the consequences is nowhere near as bad so that's really why i recommend starting out with a drive shot so for the drive shot uh again if you don't know uh, be sure to rewind to watch how it looks like if the idea is that you want to swing the shuttle towards the white tape if you haven't watched i made a full tutorial on how do you do the drive shot so swing towards the white tape so for doubles typically we use the backhand grip so again backhand swing towards the white tape okay so Drive shot, we're going to look at the swinging angles now, so let's begin. So for the preparation movement, it's very important to keep your body low and arms almost fully extended. Why? Because if your arm is fully extended, you're going to be able to return the shuttle a lot faster. The downside to this is that it's going to be a lot harder for you to reach or defend because you're taking the shuttle very front. But if you're able to take it back, the shuttle is a lot faster. Secondly, by taking the shuttle in front, it gives you a lot more angles. More about the angles later in the later part of the video. So, important, arms almost fully extended. Here's the side view. And this is the front view. So, arms... So, body low. And it's important to make sure you do the split step as well. Why? Because this gives you a lot of mobility. Because you need to remember, while your bias is for the defense, because doubles the most threatening shot is the attack, the smash, you also need to take note that the opponent can lock, they can drop at the same time. So you need to make sure that you maintain mobility. To move, to move, to move, right? So, uh, and at the same time, just in case you meet, you encounter awkward positions, having that mobility will help you as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, so if you are stationary, you know, it's a little bit slower. It's a little bit faster. And that split second could make or break your defense. So now let's talk about the swinging technique. For the swinging technique, uh, if you're just starting out, I would recommend backhand for most of this side and forehand for the rest of the side. But as you get better, I actually would recommend backhand for pretty much 360 defense. So you're, you're going to defend backhand all the way to here, 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 and then backhand here, 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 here. So pretty much you want to stick with only backhand unless it's all the way here. Then you use forehand. Else doubles defend all the way because if you cut out that switching right it's going to make your defense so much better but the challenge here is that once you want to swing over here it's going to be a lot harder to control especially the drive shot all right so this needs a lot more practice and remember take it in front if you take it behind it's going to be really hard okay so if i were to do the motion it's going to look something like this 
So split step, drive, split step, drive, split step, drive, split step, drive, split step, drive. So again, when you drive, make sure everything towards the white tape. And for this, you do not want to use too much of your shoulder. So it's a lot of the forearm movement, forearm drive. All right, so you use your shoulder to help you a little bit, but it's primarily more of a control than a way to generate power. Why? Because the smash is going to be really fast and you don't have a lot of time to do that full swing. You know what I mean? So smash, pa, 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 pa. So now I flip the camera around and you're going to be the person defending. You're going to drive and we are going to be attacking you. So make sure you drive that like button if you haven't already because your support will help the YouTube algorithm promote my video. Anyways, let's get back to the video. So typically, when people attack, they use the doubles, for attacking, doubles attacking formation. So it's going to be like this. And if my partner smashes you, right? He, do, he does a straight smash. What are you going to do? So one place that... one position that you can do is you do a straight drive because when you do the straight drive you need to bear in mind a few things the first the height of the shuttle needs to be flat because the opponent is here unless they're ready you know you're it's easy for you to bypass the side so this area is empty so you want to drive flat across second thing is that when you do that you need to be very prepared for the follow-up because typically when people drive a bit smash they are ready to follow up so here's how a smash drive combo is going to be like can you demonstrate please? So you smash, it's going to drive. Yeah, so it's going to drive or block. You need to be careful of this shot. But the idea is that if done well, this can be an effective counter attack. So smash, you counter a flat drive, and then you start to attack. A second placement that you can do is the cross drive. So I'm in front. When you do a cross drive, bear in mind, if you do not make the shuttle pass my racket, I'm going to kill you. So you need to make sure your drive is either by the side and slightly over my racket to the corner there. So here's how it's going to be like if you smash both sides. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to bear in mind when that happens, your partner must be ready. But if your cross drive is successful and he's in the defensive position, right? Can you demonstrate the smash and then defensive position? Then it's that is when you move forward and you start to attack. Okay? Let me demonstrate. Yeah. Yeah, when you see that, it's time for you to move forward and attack. And now we're talking about exploiting opportunities. So if the opponent does these two things, that means that you have a chance to exploit the opportunity. The first is when they smash a flat shot and they're not ready. So if they smash a flat shot and they're not, and they're not ready, here's how you can exploit that opportunity. The second, if, if the front person is not ready, so the front person is you know, oh my partner is sitting and then they just relax in front. Here's how you can exploit that opportunity. You're going to drive flat over to the other side. And the best part about this is that if the front person is not prepared, the back player is going to have so much difficulty getting to the other side. And that's how you exploit the opportunity. So we've come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Click on the not notification bell so that you stay up to date of our latest badminton videos. I'll see you next week and take care. Ciao!